What's up guys? How are you all doing? So I have a Resident Evil 2 topic for you guys. It's the story of Leon S. Kennedy that you probably never really heard because it was never really featured in the main games. Now this information is coming from Capcom's own official Resident Evil site. It's not from some fan created site or fan fiction like that. This is coming straight from the archives of Resident Evil.net, a very useful site that I used to use very often back in the day. But in this site, you can actually see certain archives of characters and creatures like that. And going to Leon's story, it's a very interesting article. So this is the Resident Evil 2 version of Leon S. Kennedy. And I quote, Leon was only 21 during the events of Resident Evil 2. After graduating from the police academy, he filed an application for assignment to the Raccoon City Police Department. He was able to avoid the fate of his new colleagues by pure chance after showing up late to work on the first day. So, so far, this is everything we already knew about the character. However, things take a very depressing twist. It then goes on to say, The previous evening, he had drunk himself unconscious in a motel in despair over the recent breakup of his girlfriend. The anecdote is at odds with his current cool image and can probably be attributed to the recklessness of his youth. So Leon Kennedy, although he's always pictured as this cool character, this guy is so confident, he has some corny one-liners, however Leon does have a very a very human side to him, a very human side that gets hurt by relationships. And if you really think about it, this has affected him and his relationship with Ada Wong. Now, Ada Wong, no matter how many times she screws over Adon, no matter how many times she points a gun in his face, or they meet up under un- wanted circumstances leon always seems to share this feelings for ada and his feelings for ada really never go away i wonder if this stems from this breakup with his girlfriend the fact that he's never able to let ada go despite all she's done to him but despite all the time she's separated from him although ada did save him once or twice there's no reason for him to actually have feelings for this person but his feelings will never go away maybe he's just always used to be in a dysfunctional relationship stay here for more information on resident evil 2 remake as it comes out in more of these topic videos i'm gonna be out of here thank you guys for listening deuces leon please escape no we're a team i can't just leave you behind i'm just a woman I fell in love with you. Nothing more.